Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Michelle. And we're the Tom Full Refund Club. And we're here for another installment of our weekly podcast, Straight Out of Tomfoolery. Thank you so much for joining us once again. You know what? Before we get too deep into this, we just want to send out a big, big thank you to all of the frontline workers out there, all of the doctors, nurses, staff, grocery workers, really anybody that puts their life on the line, literally, yes. uh, when they go to work in, during the course of the day. Right. There's a lot of people out there supporting us in this time that we don't even realize. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, we're into uh, really our second month now of uh, COVID-19 quarantine yes. and um, things are starting to bubble up a little bit. Things are starting to get a little anxious, wouldn't you say? Right. Some areas are a little bit more anxious than others. But, Absolutely. Um, I think if we just kind of stay the course and just ride this out, it's going to eventually come to a close. You know, the easiest thing in the world to say to people is stay calm, remain calm, it's going to be fine. But we know that that is easier said than done, correct? Right. You know, a lot of people are on furlough or may have been let go of their jobs or not getting paid right now. So that's a stressor for a lot of people. No work, no income, no right. groceries. So we know that that is certainly starting to uh, pile on people a little bit. And uh, we were talking a little bit about maybe how we're kind of handling that situation. Right. Um, it, it's not easy as uh, sometimes the situation has a tendency to just take control of us. And right. we were just kind of talking about, well, what can we, we maybe do to turn that situation around and, and, and control it at least a little bit better? Right. So there's a lot of factors outside of our control and that we just don't have any immediate control over. So what we do control is just what we do, how we behave and our own thoughts, right? That's all that we can really control in this situation. So in particular, what would be one thing that maybe you're doing to take control? Yes. One thing is um, the whole newness of being quarantined and not being able to communicate with family and friends. And I'm so used to being around. Um, I've just been trying to connect with them. And I have a cousin who she and I do a a lot of just kind of think partnering together and we had a conversation and we were feeling very similar about the situation and then we just decided that we're going to be accountability partners and um, I have some projects I'm working on outside of my day job and um, she has some things she wants to get started as well outside of her day job and so we just said we're going to be accountability partners we're going to call each other text each other and make sure that we're staying on a path so sometimes when you distract your mind or have some other purpose or goal during this time, it kind of helps you, you know, maybe get excited about working on it or get excited mm -hmm. about starting it. And so that's one of the things is kind of keep my mind occupied in that sense toward a goal that I have. I like that accountability partner. Mm -hmm. that, that's a yes. good one. Well, you know, when I was in Little League, we had a really good Little League. In fact, did I ever tell you about that Little League team that I played on? Maybe just 100 times. Well, well that's a podcast <laughs> for another time. But, but my Little League coach, uh, Mr. Uh, Pete Fargalich, yes. he would always tell us to keep our minds in gear. Keep your mind in gear mm -hmm. uh, in a positive way. And I've, I've always carried that through yes. uh, really up until today. And as I, um, as, as I go through this quarantine and I right. work on some of my uh, business endeavors and some of my projects. Um, I, I think it's just really good to write it out, to plan out what it is right. I want to do. Yes. I'm a big fan of the old-fashioned SWOT analysis, where you mm -hmm. have this, uh, you know, four quadrant uh, uh, on a piece of paper, and you just write in your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Right. Uh, really easy, real simple. Uh, but if I can look at it and visualize it, um, sometimes I look at it and say, "Yeah, this has got uh, a lot of potential. This looks really good." Right. And other times it's maybe, "Ah, no, let's get rid of it." And let's uh, let's start all over again. But I, I just think to to plan it out and, and see it in written form really, really helps me. Right. I think that is really the key to success on a lot of projects is just making sure you have a focus and uh, and steps to get you there. That's kind of interesting because I, I was able to jump in on a, a training and it was about um, Lean Six Sigma, mm -hmm. which was kind of a new concept to me. But um, so I've been kind of digging into that a little deeper. That's really good and kind of goes with your SWOT analysis. Sure, in a way. absolutely. What else? Also, another thing is move your body. We're, we're kind of in the house and when you're limited in the house, unless you have a treadmill or different things like that, you know, to work out on, you're kind of just there. And if you're working from home, you're sitting a lot potentially, even though I do have like a standing desk I can stand, but getting out and moving around and get that body moving, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, I was on a call with a colleague and, um, 
we just talked about like dance it out. So I'm a, a Grey's Anatomy fan, and in Grey's Anatomy, you mm-hmm. know, in certain parts of the show, they just like dance it out. And so um, pick a great song that has high energy, and seriously, take a break during the day and just move. Whether it's dance it out, go for a walk, um, you know, something like that. Keeping your mind not only going, but your body. Keep the keep the physical being going. Yes. I, I like to do that. You know, step outside, get some fresh air, take yes. a, take a walk. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I feel like I'm eating less, but but still getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> no. I'm not sure what what's going on with that. That hopefully one day I'll just wake up and I'll just be like a rail. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, the, the other thing that I've been working on is uh, is my networking. You know, we all have our group of friends and family that we, we talk with. And, right. and you and I, we talk a lot. And then yes. I have my other, uh, uh, you know, consigliaries as I call them, you know, mm-hmm. people that I can call for counsel. Right. And uh, But <laughs> one thing I'm working really hard to do right now during this um idle time, if you will, is to reach out to other people in my uh, right. uh, social network, uh, my LinkedIn contacts, people that I, I'm connected with, but I never really talk with. Right. And uh, ironically, over the last three weeks or so, I've just had some incredibly good conversations with some folks right. that uh, have helped me to uh, propel my my business projects along mm-hmm. and to where I'm, I'm very encouraged. So yes. in a time where you think, oh gosh, there's nothing going on, there's really no opportunity, unemployment is skyrocketing, and everything is pretty much shut down, these last couple of weeks have been, I think, very, very productive, just because I've reached out to some folks, and we've had some great conversations and done some some brainstorming, um, right. which is, whether it pays out or not, I mean, it's hard to really say, but uh, right. the encouragement is there, which sometimes is all we need to keep us going until uh, until the end of this Right. Turmoil. Or sometimes ignites other thoughts or different ideas, right? So just, you know, when you're by yourself, you only have thoughts of your own right here by yourself, right? But when you right. be, or, you know, reach out and are connected with other people, different things can come up Absolutely. through the conversations. You know, I used to have a boss that would say, control your controllables. There are certain things that you can control right. and make sure you have those in line. What's out of your control? Well, you know, fate's going to take over and, and handle that either way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's how we, we control the things that are within our realm that uh, really will dictate uh, the quality of our day. Right. So as you're watching this, whether it would be on LinkedIn, Facebook, or maybe even Instagram, um, just jot in the notes or comments, like, what are you doing during this time to really kind of keeping, keep yourself moving or thinking or, you know, what are you doing? It's always interesting to hear what other people are doing. Absolutely. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us once again. I'm Tom. And I'm Michelle. And next time we'll talk more about that little league team that I played on uh, back uh, a century ago or so. But anyway, thank you again for joining. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Tom.